With our mathematical model complete, Fluent will now determine the primary unknowns at the cell centers. Start by double-clicking Solution in the Workbench window if Fluent is not already open. To prepare the solver for the calculations, double-click Controls in the tree. Ensure that the current number is set to 5. This can be thought of as a non-dimensional time step that the solver uses when iterating until convergence. Larger values will converge faster but can be unstable and diverge, and smaller values will take longer to converge but be more stable. This value works well for our simulation. Since the algebraic equations generated by the solver are nonlinear, they must be solved iteratively to get to the cell center values of the primary unknowns. To reduce the linearization error, we will lower the criteria for convergence by expanding monitors in the tree and double clicking on residual. We can then reduce the absolute criteria for all equations to 10 to the negative 6. This means our solver will stop iterating when the change between iterations drops below this value. You can then click OK. To begin the iterative process, the solver needs initial guess values for the primary unknowns in each cell. Double click Initialization, select Standard Initialization, and change Compute From to far field. And finally click initialize. And click OK. This will set the value of the primary unknowns in each cell to match the velocity inlet. We are now ready to begin iterating. Double click run calculation in the tree. And set the number of iterations to 100 to be safe. Finally, click Calculate to run it. Once the calculation is complete, we should see that the results converged pretty quickly. If we look at the residual plot by selecting its tab, we can see that all of the residuals fell below 10 to the negative 6 in around 64 iterations. This shows that the solutions have converged to a reasonable level. With the solution complete, make sure to save your project.